Okay. All right, what is up? Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hi, Barkers. Hi, family. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing awesome. Um, wanted to do a quick video lesson for you on one headlight. Um, I'll break down the parts that you circled individually, and then I was thinking I could do the intro also. Maybe play the groove a couple of times slowly so you can kind of just hear it without the music um, as, it as it reads on paper, right? So um, I want to, here, so we'll start with the intro, okay? So that phrase on the second bar, the end of the second bar is going to be a 4E and. So a 4E and, okay? And he He's going to bring his right hand over to the hi-hat to, to play that and. Um, also, really quickly note that the, um, there's a circle. There's a circle over the top of the whole phrase. Um, and right there, it's over the and. That's telling you that it's an open hi-hat. So, and, uh, and, 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 okay. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, up one. Okay, and a uh, quick note too on that with the opening of the hi-hat. I know we, we had talked about this a little bit, but um, you want to strike as you lift up, right? So it's and, so I'm kind of coming up, I'm coming up with my foot just as my stick strikes to give it kind of a sizzle and send it kind of like lift it off a little bit. So uh, and then you can bring your foot back down on the one with your right hand, and that's that's your downbeat. That's the one of the grooves. So up four and one. Okay, I'll do that a couple times. Up four and one. Okay. Up four and one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Up four and one. So it's it sounds fast, but it's just sixteenth notes. Just keep that in mind. He's not really playing fast. Just listen for the subdivision change. So one, two, three. Well, it just you can even practice the rhythm without like music or anything. Just thinking one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Okay, so I'll put it in context. One, two, three, up, one. One, two, three, up, one. Okay, let me get the tempo of the song, and I'll play it at tempo. So it's it's kind of peppy. It's got a little pep in the step. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, and one. Okay? Alright. So that's the first that's the intro, right? Um for the first part that you circled. Bar eight. Um I'm looking at that as just a double stroke with your left hand. So, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. So the phrase, just that phrase, is... Play that groove a couple times. Okay, so he also lifts the hi hat on the end of one in there. Let me do that really quick. So one. Great. So that's the first uh, the first question, and then the next the next part being the bar before the verse that brings you into the verse. Um, super simple. Um, it's a little it's a quick motion from your tom to your hi hat, but 
The phrasing is simple. So one and three and three and four and one. So it's that one and that is your then you're in the song so or in the verse anyways so I'll play it slow a few times so try and hear that the negative space of the E, because if you hear, you, you'll be able to kind of like link the chain with with fluidity. So. So hopefully that helps at least like the the small um, the smaller parts you know leading to the whole. So I'll play. Why don't we do this? I'll play it with the without the music. I'm gonna get the tempo. I'll play it a time or two without the music, and then I'll play it to the music. So you have kind of both uh, frame of reference. I'm gonna do it actually first time through without the music at a slower tempo, just a really mellow tempo, so it all so that you can hear the negative space really easily. Um, so how about this, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I just took I take that back. I just played it without uh, without doing the double. I'm gonna start that over. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's kind of a more mellow tempo. How about I do it at tempo without the music? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that was pretty, pretty smooth, pretty clean. Um, yeah, I think I think that's right. I think the sticking is right. I think that um, that eighth bar he's gonna double, or you know, you would double whoever. So for that first part that you circled, anyways, I'm just thinking more about that um, in terms of the sticking. But I think that all sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to play it with the song and then we'll we'll see what how uh, how it goes.
So um, hopefully that, that helps kind of glue everything together. Um, and obviously, you know, of course, if you have any other questions about that or in general, feel free to reach out. I would love to do a Skype lesson with you. Maybe we can do it like you were saying in um, Facebook Messenger or G chat or whatever. I know there's tons of options out there. So I'll get in touch about that soon. Um, and have fun. Have fun with the song. Have fun with drums. Hopefully you're playing. Um, and yeah, send me a video and let me know how it goes. And Ned, listen to your mother. Okay, take care, guys.